Because of our past experiences, we tend to be unhappy. We tend to worry too much about the future. At lalo na kung hindi rin maganda yung nai-experience mo ngayon. And I know, based on my own experience, that it is challenging for most people to actually be really happy. And honestly, I was actually depressed before. Grabe rin kasi yung naging experience ko sa pagbe-business. Sobrang dami ng loko. I lost millions of money. And muntik na akong sumuko. That is why right now, I'm gonna share with you what I did. I am really happy right now. Kahit yung business ko medyo up and down because of the crisis, masaya pa rin ako. So right now, I'm gonna share with you 10 habits for a happier life. And yes, good day to you guys. My name is MJ Lopez and welcome to another vlog. here to my channel. I make videos about inspiration, motivation, life lessons, entrepreneurship, and building a business. And I also share my own real-time experiences and the success stories of my team. And if you like that, and I'm sure that you do, subscribe to my channel and watch all my videos there. So let's begin the 10 habits for a happier life. Number one is gratitude. Be grateful for all the things in your life. The good and the bad. Let's start with the bad things. Kung sino ka ngayon, dahil yan sa mga nangyari sa'yo before, kahit masama o mabuti yan. And kailangan mo maintindihan na sa sobrang dami mo nang na-experience, na pain, na rejection, na failures, mas nasasanay ka na. Kumbaga yung feelings mo nagkakaroon na ng kalyo. Pag lagi ka nagigitara, nagkakakalyo ka sa kamay, nasasanay ka na. Ganun din yung mindset mo, ganun din yung feelings mo. Mas tumatatag ka, mas tumitibay ka because of your past experiences. At ang nagpatibay sa'yo, kaya mas matatag ka ng because of the bad experiences. Because of the bad things. So be grateful for that. At some point, alam mo sa sarili mo na may naituro yan sa'yo. Next is the good things. Be grateful for all the good things in your life. Because gratitude is one of the most powerful emotion. And if you are grateful for all the good things in your life, God will bless you with more things to be grateful for. And what I do is I start my day with gratitude. I have this gratitude journal where I write all the things that I am grateful for in advance. Kung bagay yung mga bagay na gusto kong makuha, Pero nakasulat doon is I am extremely happy and grateful for I am extremely happy and grateful for Kahit wala pa ako noon, pinagpapasalamat ko na siya So yun yung nasa harap ng notebook ko And then, pagkagising na pagkagising ko, babasahin ko yun pa ulit-ulit So that I would be in that frequency of gratitude And then, magsusulat ako ng tatlo hanggang limang bagay na gusto ko pang ipagpasalamat Anything na nakikita ko sa bahay Or mga bagong bagay na meron ako In doing this long term, you will then realize na Ang dami palang bagay na pwede kong ipagpasalamat At nadadagdagan yung mga bagay na ipinagpapasalamat mo so, always start your day with gratitude. Number two is be optimistic. Always see the good in every situation. Kailangan nakikita mo lagi yung maganda. Normally kasi ang daling hanapin ng mga bagay na pangit or hindi maganda. But you have to train your mind to see the good in every situation. This way, mag improve yung relationships mo. With your family, with your friends, with your loved ones. Kasi mas nakikita mo na ngayon yung magagandang bagay kaysa dun sa mga maling bagay. Mas na-appreciate mo ngayon yung magagandang nangyayari kaysa dun sa hindi. And even in conversations, hindi ka toxic. It's because nakikita mo yung positive in a negative situation. Kahit may crisis may nangyayari, mararamdaman mo na yung mga tao mas lumalapit sa'yo. It's because nararamdaman nila yung positive frequency mo. Kasi nga, you are optimistic. Number three, meditate or pray. In my case, I do both. What I personally do is after my gratitude, I will meditate for like 15 to 30 minutes. Exhale and gently close your eyes. Nakaupo. Uh, relax yung position. And then nakafocus ako sa dalawang step. See and feel. From my mind's eye, nakapikit ako pero nakikita nakikita ko yung bagay na gusto kong mangyari nakikita ko yung pangarap ko I visualize myself having more confidence being a better speaker, being a better leader achieving my goals, achieving my dreams doing this for my family, my mom, my organization so nakikita ko yung sarili ko na ginagawa yun paulit-ulit, I mentally rehearse my ideal day and syempre, yung greatest and grandest vision ko for myself, my family, my team, my organization, and my company and then, after kong makita yung sarili ko na ginagawa to bumibili ng bagong kotse, bumibili ng bagong bahay, nakatayo sa harap ng tao, nagmagawa ng videos, ini-imagine ko yung mga positive comments. After doing that, I try to consciously feel ano yung mararamdaman ko pag nandun ako. Minsan nahuhuli ako ng family ko na nakapikit, nakangiti, para daw akong baliw, okay lang kasi masaya naman. Nararamdaman ko yung happiness, yung gratitude, yung, yung leadership, yung power 
yung confidence. So, I am more connected to the emotions involved dun sa future na gusto ko. So, what happens is, instead na yung otak mo is full of memories from the past, it is now becoming a roadmap for your future. Kung baga, nakikreate ka na ng roadmap ngayon papunta dun sa success na gusto mo. That way, you are making better choices, better decisions. And then, saka ako magpe-pray, ipagpapasalamat ko ulit yung nasa notebook ko at yung mga goals ko at ipagpapasalamat ko sa kanya halos lahat ng bagay na meron ako. So, meditate or pray or both. Number four is self-love. Do you remember the time when sobrang in love na in love ka tapos tuwing makikita mo siya ang saya mo? Tama? Tapos gandang-ganda ka sa kanya or gwapong-gwapo ka na kahit anong suot niya feeling mo bagay. Tama? And then, umaga pa lang gusto mo igigirit mo siya ng good morning. You always check kung kumain na siya. You make sure na masaya siya. Inaalam mo yung mga bagay na magpapasaya sa kanya. Gusto mo na ma-achieve niya yung pangarap niya. You are willing to sacrifice almost everything for that person. You are willing to do everything for that person. Tapos, iiwan ka lang. Joke lang. But yes, you have to do that for yourself. Pag gising mo pa lang sa umaga, bago mo i-greet yung ibang tao, i-greet mo muna yung sarili mo. Good morning, self! Sinecheck mo lagi kung kumain na siya, di ba? Di i-check mo yung sarili mo. So, always check on yourself. Kumain na ba ako? Gutom na ba ako? Nauuhaw na ba ako? Okay lang ba ako? Alamin mo yung mga bagay na nagpapasaya sa'yo. You have to find yourself. Huwag mo hintayin na matagpuan ka ng ibang tao. Kailangan mahanap mo muna yung sarili mo. Matanggap mo muna yung sarili mo. Yung tipong pag nakita mo yung sarili mo, gandang-ganda ka. Gwapong -gwapo ka. Pag nakita mo yung sarili mo sa salamin, masaya ka. And masaya ka na may mga bagay kang na-achieve. You have to love yourself. And of course, self-love is taking care of yourself. Inaalagaan mo talaga yung sarili mo, nag exercise ka, tapos healthy yung diet mo, uh, you are getting enough sleep. Kung baga, the more na mas nadidisiplina mo yung sarili mo sa mga bagay na long-term magpapasaya sa'yo. That is self-love. Because for me, discipline is self-love. Number five is focus on wins. At the end of the day, eh di gabi na, mag-focus ka dun sa mga accomplishments mo, yung mga bagay na nagawa mo. Huwag dun sa rejections, huwag dun sa failures. Kasi normal naman na nare-reject ka. Normal naman na mag-fail ka. Pero focus on the wins. Even yung mga maliliit na bagay na nagawa mo, acknowledge it. Reward yourself. What I personally do is, I also have another journey at sinusulat ko doon yung wins ko. Sulat ko yung date. Sinusulat ko isa-isa yung mga bagay na nagawa ko. Nakapagtupi ako ng kumot. Nakapaglaro kami ni Scarlett. Hindi ko nakalimutang inumin yung moringa. Nakapag-moringa coffee ako. Nagawa ko yung gratitude. Nakapag-meditate ako. Nakapag-pray ako. Nakausap ko yung grupo ko. Nakausap ko yung team ko. Merong bagong members ang team. Nakagawa ko ng anim na video for today. Things like that. And then doing this in a long run, you will then realize na ang dami mo na palang natapos. Ang dami mo na palang accomplishments. And you will also see the improvement. That will, you will feel happier. Number six is smile. Guys, ang dami nating muscle sa muka. And sabi nga ni Tony Robbins, emotion is energy in motion. If you want to feel happy, you can start with your body. Pwede mong simulan sa katawan mo. Ano ba itsura ng malungkot? Kung maglalakad ka ng ganito, malulungkot ka talaga. Kung sisimulan mo sa katawan mo at ngingiti ka, I guarantee you will be happy. Number seven is give. Ang sarap magbigay. Anything na pwede mong ibigay, anything na may value, na binigay mo sa tao ng libre, masarap yun sa pakiramdam. And don't expect anything in return. Huwag kang mag-expect na may babalik sila. Kasi siya na yung bahalang magbigay sa'yo. So magbigay ka lang ng magbigay. Sobrang sarap talaga na magiging mapagbigay. And that is actually why I work hard. It's because gusto ko nandun ako sa frequency, nandun ako sa mga level ng tao na nagbibigay, hindi nang hihingi. Iba yung pakiramdam talaga pag marami kang natutulungan. Number eight is forgive. I know that this is actually tricky and this is hard to do. You have to forgive without any conditions. Dapat walang condition. Kasi minsan, gusto nating mag-suffer muna sila bago natin sila mapatawad. Tama? Minsan, naghihintay tayo ng matinding-matinding sorry. Minsan, kahit sorry, kulang pa. You have to understand that forgiveness is not for the other person. It is for you. Kasi baka nag-move on na siya or kung naloko ka man niya, baka nanloloko na siya ng ibang tao. Tapos ikaw naghihintay ka pa rin ng sorry. So nagsasuffer ka ngayon. So nabibigatan ka ngayon. Pero kung matututo kang magpatawad, mas magiging magaan. Mas magiging masaya ka. And also, kung meron ka namang nagawang mali, you also have to forgive yourself. Give yourself a chance. Kasi lahat tayo nagkakamali. Ang mahalaga, natuto tayo sa pagkakamali natin, patawarin natin yung sarili natin. And remember, siya nga, marunong magpatawad. Tayo pa kaya. Number nine is live in the present. Don't worry too much about the future. Don't dwell in the past. Yes, meron tayong goals 
for the future. Yes, meron tayong pangarap. Pero instead na mag-worry ka sa pangarap mo, remember, nagme-meditate tayo, iniisip natin yung gusto nating mangyari. Worrying too much about the future kasi is thinking, paano pag nangyari ito? Paano pag nangyari yun? Or ganito? Or ang hirap naman, ganyan-ganyan. Iniisip mo yung mga bagay na negative na pwedeng mangyari in the future. That will put you in a state of anxiety. That will put you in a very negative state. So, hindi ka talaga magiging masaya. That is why, importante yung meditation and prayer. And after that, nakafocus ka na ngayon doon sa mga bagay na nasa harapan mo. You have to be in the present moment. You have to focus on what's in front of you. Even in conversations, mag-focus ka dun sa kausap mo, makinig ka. Even in relationships, with your family, nakain, mag-focus ka dun sa pagkain, mag-focus ka dun sa moment na kumakain kayo. If nasa meeting ka, wag hawak ng hawak ng cellphone. Mag-focus ka dun sa meeting. Live in the present. And number 10, really important, be authentic. Be true to who you are as a person. Sabi nga ni William Shakespeare to thine own self, be true. One of the main reasons bakit hindi tayo masaya kasi most of the time, hindi natin mailabas kung sino talaga tayo. Mahilig ka pala mag-joke, magpatawa, ang dami mo palang kwento, pero hindi mo mailabas. Hindi ka talaga magiging masaya. Magaling ka pala sa sales, magaling ka pala magbenta, pero yung trabaho mo ngayon, hindi related doon. Magaling ka pala kumanta, pero ayaw mong kumanta. Pero para maging masaya tayo, we just have to be true to who we are. Be true to who you are as a person. And yes, yan na po yung 10 habits for a happier life. And if you like this video, and I'm sure that you do, subscribe to my channel and watch all my videos there. Thank you for watching guys. This is the end of vlog. And always remember that everything good starts with a yes. And yes, my name is MJ Lopez. And see you soon.